guys can go ahead whenever you're ready. Yeah, Josh, I guess just take us through your thoughts on what happened today. What happened today? Well, we got beat. I think there's two. You played a good game. Uh, they came out. They were better in all phases of the game. They got us. They ran away with it early in the game, and it was a tough one. So bounce back and come back ready tomorrow. Yeah, and um, that third inning there for Bryce, a bit of a tough one. He gets two quick outs and then two hits, a walk, and then four hits to bring in those five runs. Then it kind of snow snowballs from there. It seemed like the theme really for OU, two out hits and those two out rallies. What, what do you think it was that helped them be successful with two outs? And just what, could, what was your take on that? Uh, you just said it. I mean, they did a good job of hitting with two outs. And they did a good job of hitting with two strikes as well. So, I mean, I, I give credit to them for a job well done. That's, that was uh, a clinic by them in those two situations uh, of how to hit and get back in the two outs. That was obviously a big momentum shift in the game. And uh, what was your message to the team there after the game over there in the field? We got to compete better. We didn't. We didn't play and compete as well as is required. As well as we were, the standard that we have, we simply didn't meet it. Better. That's all there is to it. Thanks. Yeah, Josh. What What would you to, to your guys' struggles at the plate today? Um. Well. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I really see the game through that lens. We had a lot of runners. We drew a lot of walks. We didn't have a lot of hits. We got behind a, a wide margin. Games that are played with a wide margin oftentimes affect the concentration and emotions of the players playing it. So, I don't, you know, it's a hard game to evaluate from that perspective, Marsha. I wouldn't dive too deep in it. They have some really good arms. We had some runners on base. They struck us out. Kids were frustrated, embarrassed where the score was at. So, you know, you got to get over that. Mm -hmm. You can't. You can't mentally dwell on that. It doesn't do any good. We just got to start fresh tomorrow. Um, you, you mentioned some plate discipline. Caden drew four walks today, which might have been the highlight of you guys' day. What did you think of, of his performance to plate? Yeah, that's right. He did. He was on base, I think, five times. So he just needs to pick up where he left off, come tomorrow, and lead the game off with something good and get us going. Do you think this will be – do you think they'll be able to, to wipe this from their memory quickly? How do you kind of – um, expect the team to respond going into tomorrow? I expect them to remove it quickly. There's really not much about this worth thinking about or taking to bed with you. Nothing nothing about it that does you any good. I told him that. Um, so it is what it is. It's game one. It's a three-game series. If that game, uh, if, you, if you let it linger, then you got to be better than that. you got to move on. Do you, do you know who will start tomorrow's game? Justin Campbell. Appreciate it, Josh. You're welcome. Hey, Coach. You uh, talked about like having a positive mindset, you know, d despite the score. And uh, what do you tell Bryce to kind of keep him in a, a good headspace uh, going forward after this? Challenge him to get better. Challenge him to be the pitcher he knows he can be. Challenge him to keep working hard and not like out his belt and have the resolve to do something about it. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. You bet. Yeah, Josh, one last thing for me. Do you have any sort of update on um, Parker or Justin? They will not pitch this weekend. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Coach. Um, just getting, getting to pitch the players tonight, um, does that provide great experience just for the future of the team, just getting to pitch so many guys, getting them some experience kind of later in the game? Um, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think the team is put together and everyone's expected to do their jobs. Everyone uh, did something to get here in the first place and when guys get chances to go in, they're, they want to perform at a high level. I mean, we've already, we've already established that and we're knee deep in a competitive season. So every time guys get a chance, we need them to do their job for their teammates. That's all there is to it. So, um, yeah, I, I don't. I don't really find a whole lot of positives in the experience of a loss other than a um, chance to compete and then the, the desire to bounce back and be better. Thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm. Hey, Josh, just kind of about like the seventh and, seventh and eighth inning, Colton Bowman comes in, strikes out the side, Zach Cable strikes out the side. What does that do for you all going forward, seeing them have that success tonight? 
they'll, they'll be they'll get a chance to get back in there again tomorrow. I mean, that's that's the, the good thing about it. There's a good vibe in both those guys' minds right now. And um, they fit ball good. Ball is firm and located well. And that was great to see. So yeah, that's that's what you want, and that's what they want for themselves. That's what the team needs. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Everybody good? Nobody lost them.